Here with UFC welterweight Max Griffin, fresh off of a decision win over Zalim Imadeev. And Max, uh, before we get to the fight itself, um, you know, I'm no psychology expert, but it did seem like there were some, some bad vibes between you and Zalim. Do you want to explain yeah, that? What, what, where do those come from? Um, I know this guy when I first got the fight, he was at Extreme Tour in Vegas with us. Um, he always tried to hurt his training partners. You know, we wore little gloves. He's trying to knock everybody out. He actually got kicked out over there. Really? Had a exchange short couture, yeah. And uh, yesterday, actually, we were at breakfast. And uh, my family was getting some eggs and shit, and he ran up on me, tried to fight me. Uh, the rest, police were called, all this stuff. And then uh, UFC came and talked to me, said, hey, don't worry about him. Um, won't happen again. Next thing I know, we're getting on the bus yesterday to go to weigh-ins. And uh, he ran up on me again. Um, so during the stare down, we had a ton of security, guards, he was in his own room. I haven't fought a guy that wasn't really safe to be around, you know what I mean? We're about getting paid. I said, I'll fight you tomorrow. I'll fight you tomorrow, but I'm not going to get suspended and not get my win bonus tonight, you know what I mean? Where, where did all this hostility come from? You said he was just trying to knock out people in the gym, but did you call him out on it? Was it like you the reason why he got kicked out? Or why no, is he's no, no. Um, I mean, I've been doing interviews, say, hey, hey, what do you know about this guy? So I said a little bit, there's way more shit that I know that I didn't talk about. But uh, you could ask everyone, nobody likes him. He's, he's a cancer everywhere he goes, man. man. So what was that like, fight week, just processing that internally and knowing that you are going to fight the guy at the end of the week? What was this fight man. week like for you? I had to walk around with all my coaches. I couldn't be alone. Like I said, I talked to UFC security and... You know, if I would have fought him during the week, I wouldn't be here right now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So my thing was I wasn't scared of this guy. I'm trying to get my money. You know, it was his first fight. Um, he can't control himself. I knew his anger would have, you know, something to do with, you know, his defeat because it's all mind. If you can't even walk around without controlling yourself, how are you going to want to fight? Was the UFC aware of all this? Is that why this fight came about, or did one of you guys ask for it? Why, how did we get here? I don't know. It kind of felt like it was kind of fishy how this fight actually came about, you know. Um, I sparred a guy a little bit at Extreme. Um, Ali was with him, his coach Roberto. We sparred a couple of times, and then next thing I know, they want to fight me. So I don't know if they saw something in sparring or something. It was just a real fishy fight, actually. Be careful what you wish for, right? I got to believe it. Is this one of the most satisfying wins of your career? Where does this one rank? I'd say, you know, uh, I lost two. I just beat Tiago, but they stole that from me. Um, you know, uh, I fought Curtis Millender right before that. He won by like a takedown. I took that. So uh, you need these damn wins, man. This is my livelihood, and uh, I just want to get better. Fight itself? Were you happy with the way you performed? Yeah, I wanted to put him put him away. Um, but sometimes, I mean, it's hard to do when, you know, these Russians are tough, man. They say he's uh, Khabib's cousin or Zabi Sharapov, his cousin. They all hang out together. So these guys are good. Russians are hot right now. They're hot, you know. Deal is crazy, spin stuff. The guy has eight knockouts, eight wins, so yeah. didn't matter to me. Well, you, you pulled off your own spinning move there at the end. Did you even realize it? Third round, you turned it on him. You did a spinning one. Was that like... Was that, was that kind of like a mental mind game there that he had thrown so many in the fight? Yeah, you know, um, like I said, everyone's scared of all these crazy Russians that do all this stuff, but I'm a martial artist, man. I've been hitting the end, land one spinning technique on me. I've been doing spinning stuff since I was four years old, so it doesn't faze me. Well, you've been around the UFC for a while now. You fought some very tough guys. Who's next for you, Max? I don't care, man. It don't matter to me. Uh, I just want to get better and uh, get back in there.